Hey everyone, it's Dev Puppy again. Um, this is going to be a little different. I'm going to be narrating over at the top of this video, and that is because the audio didn't record properly. So I blame Apple. So, <laughs> and um, so what I'd like to discuss is the planes, uh, the AR planes versus the AR anchors. So what I use, and you can see in, in Kitty Paradise, I've uh, change the plane to be bright blue. Um, so this is to show you why the cat kind of looks like it's jerking around when you're when you're sensing the planes. But really it's it's building um, a plane beneath the cat. And there's major uh, there's major downsides but there's also um, the upside which is you can go with you can do multiple surfaces like I am right now. Um, you can move the camera from room to room and um, it will actually continue to build planes. But without the blue, it kind of looks like the cat jerks around and rotates around as the plane is building. So that's a major weakness. So this is the alternate um, way to do it, which is to use anchors. And this is a battle hollow grid type game. And you can see that they have a cool GUI for uh, uh, for sensing whether you have a good spot to place the game board. Okay, so the game board is placed, and it's not on a plane. It's it's just using some anchors, and you can resize the uh, board if you want. And um, so this this was actually a pretty fun game. I played it for maybe. Uh, maybe 20 minutes or so, so I didn't get right into it. But check out the tracking difference. So it's basically perfect. I mean, the board is not moving around at all. And it's I'm just so jealous of it because, man, if you if you were to move around my cats like this, they would kind of be jerking around. So this is one example. The next is AR Dragon, which is um, which is a, a pretty cute pet care type game, and they use anchors as well. So kind of looks like from this image that they're using planes, but it's actually not the case. Um, it's this is an approximation of where the play area will be once you uh, once you place the dragon, but once you place the dragon, its tracking is based on anchors and not planes like AR Kitties is. And so, pretty soon I'll place the dragon. Okay, there he is. So, amazing animation. And I'll get this reward. Nope. Okay. So can see I'm going to walk around the dragon here and not only does it track my position but it stays in one spot which is very unlike Kitty Paradise. I mean it's okay on this table with a ton of uh, like patterns on it but um, you know in, in certain situations the tracking is awful so this is actually um, probably a perfect situation for AR tracking. So it's a pretty simple game and and that's not to say that AR kitties is complex at all. Um, but I really haven't explored it that much so maybe the complexity is in there. But yeah you can see again the tracking is so perfect. So back to my game um, just to sh show you again what the difference is. And I think I'll place Angel. Okay, so this is the very beginning. You can see right now there's no... Oh, there we go. So the plane starts to build. And if you couldn't see the blue, what you would... What, what it would look like is that Angel is is moving around on the spot. But what, what it's really doing is Angel is staying in the center of the plane, and the plane is building. So, again, major weakness of this system. 
And the tracking on this table is actually very good. Because again, it's pretty much best case scenario. There's patterns, there's lots of places to put visual anchors. So in other cases, the plane kind of moves around as you move. And um, so it's not the best. And usually tracking when you get up close is actually pretty poor, but it worked well that time. So let's build another plane. And again, you can see if you keep your eye on Angel, he'll jerk around as the plane is building. Oh, nope. So this is really the only strength, again, is the multiple play surfaces. So, but, but major, major weaknesses as well. And I really do think that we will have to switch to using the anchors because it's all, all of the featured AR games um, that, have, that have made it uh, you know, to the front page of the app, app store, all of them use anchors. And I, I really think that, that because it makes Apple's AR kit look really, really good and really sophisticated. Whereas planes, I mean, it kind of looks like a prototype almost. So I guess one other benefit is um, there was definite bounds. As there's definite bounds as to where the cat can play. So you'll see pretty soon, usually the ball just goes up and down, but yeah, there we go. Get, they got knocked to the So definite boundaries to where the yarn ball can go. Um, so yeah, that's that's really that's one benefit. But really, um, I think we're going to change. And um, this is in preparation for for release on AR core as well. So I'll probably be picking up a Pixel pretty soon uh, to get that going. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button down below. And if you want to keep up with what I'm up to, hit subscribe.